increasing. Still on the Asin North by-election, Youth Bridge Foundation has in a statement said that polls will amount to a breach of the 1992 constitution if held without the inclusion of youth who turned 18 after 2020 election. According to the group, the Electoral Commission has not conducted any fresh or continuous voter registration exercise since the nationwide registration held from June to August 2020. Youth Bridge Foundation was disappointed that in the recent Kumewu and the 2019 also West Wogong by election, young eligible voters were again denying their constitutional rights as no exercises were conducted to put their names on the electoral roll, and this trend must not be allowed to fester. Let's engage with Nana Ajwahin Kaya, Japan, who is Programs Coordinator for Youth Bridge Foundation. Nana, thank you for your time with us on the program. What have been the levels of engagement between the group and, by extension, the young men and women who are just turning 18 in their efforts to vote? You're asking for registration at least two days before the by-election. Thank you very much for having me here. So dating back to 2012-2016 election, as well as the 2020 election, Youth Bridge Foundation has been fighting for continuous voter registration because according to Article 42 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, it is the right of every youth who turns 18 to possess a valid voter's ID card. And the Electoral Commission, according to Article 296 of the 1992 Constitution, Clause A, they are supposed to make sure that their electoral processes are fair and candid. And to ensure fair and candid relations, they have to be sure that those who turn 18 years are given the chance to exercise their franchise. But here lies the case that after the 2020 election, there haven't been any continuous voter relations, which means those who turn 18 years after the election in 2020 have not given the chance to exercise their right here. That is why we are seeking for the Electoral Commission to offer at least a two days registration to input the details of these young persons into the electoral processes. We happen to have gone to the grounds of Asin North yesterday and spoke to quite a number of the youth who attend 18 years, and they are not happy with the fact that they cannot exercise their rights and who rules them and who cannot take their seat. So we are calling on the EEC to exercise their rights for them. Right. Uh, thank you. We'll leave it here. We'll get back to you for some more information some few days before the Asen North by-election that is expected to happen on June 27, 2023. We know that as we speak, 